now you can actually start getting uh, stuff from uh, Seleucids again. <clears throat> yeah. Be like, hey, remember how uh, that didn't work out for you guys? Remember how we're not at war anymore? How about you give us stuff? Give. Just, just... Give. Give. Put like in that. hand. Give money to hand. Hello everyone, I'm your friendly neighborhood community manager, Troy. Uh, as always, here for another Imperator Rome stream, and my partner in crime, Joachim! Hi, Joachim. Hello again. I uh, yeah. think they heard me the first time. But, yeah, uh, they probably heard you the first time, but they didn't hear my lovely intro that led into your segue. So, here we are. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm glad to be here. I hope you're glad to be here as well. We were uh, fighting the, the, the dual Pergamon nations last we left off with our number one boss friend, Stan Joachim. Um, and, yeah, things were going interesting. Interesting is the word we're going to use. So, yeah. I mean, I'd say things were going fine. We were just sort of going to beat them back, then jump up here and fix this rebellion over here. Right. I think that was the plan. I think that but was the plan. But they do have, like, uh, they sort of, you know, they have, like, small armies sort of moving about, but shouldn't be too much of a problem, I think. Um, that was how Joachim signed his death warrant. Also, it's really interesting today. So, normally I read chat, and it's, like, just below where the desk is on one side. But uh, today there's, like, a fluffy party cake hat directly in the way of my chat. So I have to, like, continuously dodge around fluffy party cake hat. You have a tough life. A very tough life. That is uh, sort of cute, actually. Right? I thought it was cute, but it's just in the way right now. I can wear it. Can I Can I wear the hat? Here we go. Here we go. We're going to... Uh, we could do this. There we go. Yo, okay, am I am I lovely yet? Am I? Uh, you are unique and special. This is your view for the rest of the stream. You get to live. With I this. uh, I guess I'm not looking to my left a lot the rest of the stream then. Oh no! It's a... <laughs> oh no! I've been attacked. No, didn't work. Sorry, everyone. Uh. Um, Did our hero or the team ever complain about Joachim's honesty in the streams? I have not gotten any complaints directly to me. Um. So by it, that logic, it's not their possibly... it's not his honesty they're worried about. It's his undying love for the Bosporans. I mean that is a logical thing to be worried about though. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh man. Yeah, so so so. A lot of you've been so, asking and I think it's hey everybody, it's news time. That's right. News time. I'll give you a couple minutes to process news time, and then uh, then we'll go into it. So, as you know, 2.0, everyone, was a great success. We love 2.0. 2.0 is fantastic. Um, and as soon as we had uh, hopes and plans and dreams and goals for the future, we'd let you know. Currently, uh, there is nothing in the pipeline. <gasps> We are kind of coasting on 2.0 and letting everyone enjoy it. Um, as such, since there's no new content in the pipeline, uh, we are temporarily halting our streams um, while we figure that out. So, unfortunately and sadly, this is our last stream with you today for the foreseeable future. We're giving up our slot to other games that do have new content coming out. Now, that doesn't mean nothing's happening with Imperator. That doesn't mean um, anything's going wrong or bad. Just simply that we don't have anything in the future and we want to give somebody else a chance to show off their stuff. So, Joachim and I will not be gracing your screens anymore after today for the foreseeable future. Once we get news or, or changes in plans, maybe we'll be back. Maybe you will see us again. That is what we are hoping for. And that is the plan. But, for the foreseeable future, this is our last stream. Uh, we will miss you so much. So much, everyone. <laughs> Without you, 2.0 wouldn't be what it is, and we wouldn't have all the successes and fantastic times we've had. <laughs> but, all all good things must be paused temporarily. Isn't that how the saying goes, Joachim? Uh, yeah. No, I guess, I guess that's exactly how it goes. Yeah, I like yeah, how yeah. someone in chat is like, "You made us think it was good news," and you're just who like, said it no, was it good news? <laughs> who said it was good news? I didn't say it was good news. Um, uh, literally, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the the sentence, DD. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, but news is that we will be temporarily halting streams. Again, nothing's going on with the game. We're still here. We're still working. I'll still be around. I'll still be on forums and you know 
uh, social media for you guys. So definitely hit me up if you have, if you have questions. Uh, there is a discussion about uh, PDXCon going on for Imperator. So we are taking bids and bets and conversations for that as well. Um, additionally, we're still doing all of our posts every week. We are still um, working on tweaks for the game, changes and that sort of thing. Uh, but since there's no new big content pack, we Yokim and I would just literally be playing the Boss Friend Kingdom for like six weeks, eight weeks, three years, until they Pretty told us forever, to stop. Really. Yeah, exactly. Literally until they told us to stop. So, yes, once we once we get there, uh, we will let you know what the future holds. Um, but again, since there's no new content currently, there's not anything really to drive towards. And until we have something to drive towards for the stream, there's not a lot of like progress to be made other than just enjoying the game and playing the boss Frank kingdom so we didn't want you guys to think that we were just gonna sit and play boss Frank kingdom forever i know Joachim wouldn't be mad um yeah i mean i think the more important thing to point out is that uh tuesdays do end up going sort of long right and yeah then you have ck3 and then you have eu4 yeah. and if yeah. we don't have anything important to actually show it makes a lot of sense to not yep Put us in the you know the prime spot yeah. in the middle of the day. <laughs> That's exactly what it is um, too. Is that we have the best spot for Imperator? Yeah, exactly. If we have yeah. like the perfect spot, and I mean, I know we're you know we are the best, so it we makes are. sense, right? Yeah, that's why um, we got put here. But seeing as we are the best in so many ways, we are willing to give up our spots so other people can attempt to replicate our greatness. Right. Will Imperator have any new DLC developments, or has it ended? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what the roadmap looks like. Uh, we have nothing in the pipeline, but that doesn't mean there's not going to be a change or something coming down very soon. It just means that right now, we have nothing in the immediate future, at least until PDXCon, that is going to be important. So, because PDXCon is coming up, and we want to make sure that every game gets its attention, we are giving the spot to somebody else to stream. That's all that's changing is we're not streaming because we don't have anything immediately pressured to show off. So until at least PDXCon, we're taking off, letting other games take this spot. That's all that means. That's all that's changed. It's just our streaming schedule. Nothing else. Uh, we'll still be, like I said, around on everything. I'll be on the forums, on Reddit, on social media. Hit me up. Uh, Elio, our ambassador, will also be on there constantly, every day, making sure that all your answers, all your questions get answers, all of your reports are heard and seen, and all the feedback reaches the team, and that we are aware of any issues that are emerging so that they can be worked on and addressed. The only thing changing right now is our stream schedule. So, if we hear anything else, you'll definitely know about it. So what I was thinking is, you know, last time we had this little war with Egypt, I figured we could mm -hmm. sort of, you know, take that again, right? I figure that might be fun. So I haven't really prepared, but let's just go for it. What's the worst can happen? If it's in the last stream anyways, we might as well go for it. But if we're going to go for it, we might see if we can bring in an ally of some sort. That would be fun. Cappadocia, this is your chance to, you know, stick up for what is right in life. Um, let's just see if we can grab some people to join us. Well, we'll call them in, and if they don't want to join, they don't want to join. And then they'll be dead to us. Uh, let me see. Note, having a subscription option for Imperator in the near future, that may be an option. That may be a thing we could do. I don't know what the timeline is for that. Uh, I know that we are testing out the subscription model to see how it works. And if it is successful, we will definitely look into expanding it. So it's definitely a high possibility. I like how someone asks when I saw the response to the subscription for CK2. That seemed to be, uh, at least from what I read, fairly negative. Mm. There's there's a lot of positives and negatives. It's a very mixed response. Um, for That's those that have there. a lot of the DLC, yet yeah, is kind of a plan like that they're like, meh, we don't like this. But if you don't have a lot of the DLCs, it is definitely a, a worthwhile option. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, per you know, on a personal level. I just think uh, it seemed to be uh, a lot of negative responses to it. Yeah. There's something to be said that very often you do get um, quite a lot of... Uh, how do I put this? 
the people who are super excited about things are not necessarily always the ones who say something about it on the forums. Yeah. It's often the people who are less excited about something. Our last stream. Yo, Kim, I am going to miss our time together, though. For real, for real. Yeah, no, it's uh, going to be a bit of a change. You know, you get sort of uh, used to um, having this weekly thing, right? Yeah. That's sort of always the case. Yeah. When you change things around, there's... Well, it takes a little bit of time to get used to things. It I does. It okay. does. I'm sure people will see uh, our faces elsewhere. Uh, oh, I'm uh, everywhere. God, you can't get rid of me. So how are we looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? What are we doing next? So right now we're uh, building a claim on... Persia? Uh, yes. ex -Lucids. And as soon as that happens, we're going to raise all our troops. Or as many as we can. And right. then we're going to fight, and then we're going to lose, and that's going to be the end of the stream. Ah, what a perfect way to end. Throwing ourselves <laughs> at the teeth of the Persian army. Uh, so that was sort of the goal. Yeah. Wait, who, uh, who's this right next to us that's not Persian? Armenia? Bithynia? Why don't we just take out Bithynia? Oh, the, uh, I was planning to just sort of toss them at uh, Persians, to be oh, honest. Oh, fair. Yeah. Make, little, make a little alliances with everyone and then just use them as cannon fodder. Yeah, exactly like that. Ideal. Lovely. What a what a terrific plan is that, that is. Isn't that how you were doing? That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I figure I might as well just go out with a bang and everything. If I have four thousand gold to um uh, you know, to toss out the window, why not do it? Exactly. Then I think we're just going to grab all of our dudes over here, bring them down there. Uh, you here. This is going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a bath of some yeah. kind. Yeah, we're going to take a wash on it. That's fine. It's going to be rad. It's going to be so I much fun. Out. Just fine. You have to believe, after all. I believe. Blood. I believe this is going to be. It's going to be rad. I didn't say whose blood it was going to be. I just said it was going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be someone's blood. Yeah. Maybe right. ours. Maybe theirs. Who knows? Really. I'm sure it's going to work out just fine. Just fine. Everything's good. Everything's going to be fine. I like I our mean, little two Ks just happen, right? just trundling around the countryside. Do 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 do. They only have like three times our population size, and it's fine. Fine. Three to four times our uh, amount of uh, territory. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Just fine. No, I don't really care. So you can just grab it. Hooray, a civil war has ended. Thank goodness. Well, at least we're all still in our, our allied territory, so we're not, like, taking penalties for this gigantic army that's just trundling around the countryside. Be booping. Be booping along. Let's see. I think we're just going to uh, start it off with and it doesn't seem like any of our allies actually... Oh, that's a lot of... Yeah, most of our stuff came from them, so here we are. Well, there you go then. Tradeless. Who needs money anyways? Tradeless. I'd say that money is highly overrated. Well, I don't think the army is going to agree with you. It's alright, it'll work out just fine. So, how unlikely are people to actually join this? Infinitely unlikely to join this. Well, yeah. then they're going to do the second best thing, which is to protect us if anyone actually attacks us. Which is probably uh, definitely going to happen. Well, you know, anyone besides those Lucids, I mean. If someone else is trying to go to war with us, they, they can sort of hold them off right. while we're doing our thing. So, it's alright. Alright, here we go! I mean, when you sort of look at them, you can sort of... It's like an know, ant colony. See. Man, it's like an ant colony. You just stirred up an ant colony. This is rad. You can sort of see why they're saying no, right? You sort of see the massive, massive empire, and you're like, mm, I would probably wouldn't attack that either if it wasn't the last session. Yeah. I mean, so, we got we to gotta go all, all out to the wall, as it were. 
They have this? ships. Oh no, not ships. Our only weakness. That is true, actually. It's okay. It's okay. Our, our ally sent just a single 2k army. Like, bruh. Who that dungeon with him? What's going on with his nose there? Bro, did you break it a couple just, times? I think it's just a little bit flat. I don't know if he can breathe. I think uh, we'll grab something, you know, someone new then. If he doesn't want to do it properly. Oh, that's Ugh. a lot of people. Yeah, this is turning Let's a lot. just pull back for now. Then we'll just continue over here instead. And we'll bring these guys over and you can sort of... Hopefully bring our troops together. Come on, boys. March, march, march. You can do it. There will be no surrender here. We there do is not no surrender. surrender. There's only sadness. That's... Negative nine war score. Doing, doing, doing great. Doing, doing, doing great. Good God's work. Let them re rebuild a little bit, and then then throw them back into the lion's lion's uh, den, as it were. Ugh. Ugh. This could be useful. If I'm actually losing this, let me pull those guys back as well. Are both updates coming out together on Stellaris console? No idea. This isn't a Stellaris stream. I don't know anything about Stellaris. Sorry. It's a fun game. It is a fun game, though. That is true. So we're just going to continue burning through our cash and buy more mercenaries. What's the worst going to happen, right? We go bankrupt and die. Well, sure. But then the stream is done. So it works out. Oh, man. Yeah, like, the boss friend kingdom is, is is holding tough right now. We gotta... Gotta nip it in the bud, Andy! Um... Yeah. Maybe just crush that little 11k army. That's bothering you there? I'll just start here, I think. Oh, good call. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't think it is, necessarily. They seem to be, uh... Holding that back quite well, actually. They're doing great. You're doing great, guys. I believe in you. Not great enough, though. You're gonna die, but I, you're doing great. 78. Yeah, good. Good talk, guys. What are we going to do? You guys. Still alive. Still you alive. Can, you can just go die for us, because we don't actually need armies with no people in them. Still alive. So we're just going to send you guys off to die. And then you can take the, the troops with you. Simple as that. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Remember yes. how you said you had a lot of money and you weren't worried about it? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh. Yeah. That's not going to be the case at the end of this. Here we are. You know, go big or go home, right? Can we do both? Can we go big and then go home? Uh, no, we can oh, okay. I guess we'll just stay here forever then. We live here now, in the stream lab. I think it'll be great. But, you know, just order some pizzas and everything's going to be fine. Nurgle, order us pizzas. I'm pretty sure Nurgle promised us pizza, right? Nurgle promised us pizza. I'm sure of it. You're not going to go to... That's for ludicrous. We're going to win. It's just going to take a while. Just slowly whittle them down. Whittle them. <sighs> whittle them. Yeah, that's what I thought. They actually do move slower. And as soon as they get down... Oh, I don't actually need to pay all of you guys. Extra anymore. Uh, as soon as they get down, we'll just go for it. Popularity. Who needs popularity when this is all stream? Yes, Nurgle, you owe us all pizza. All of us. Mmm, seafood and wine. I do love seafood. You 
have good stats, and that's good enough for me right now. Cool. See, now we have, like, a massive army again. Yep. Also. Hello, it's... friends. It's a nice 15k you had. Goodbye. Yeah, come, please, reinforce your dudes. Please. No? No, you didn't like that plan? Okay, bye. Now we're going to actually go down and go into uh, Seleucid Lands again. Uh, what, are, what are we doing? We're, we're at war with the uh, the Persian Empire, and what we're doing is getting our asses kind of handed to us repeatedly, and then rebuilding our army, and then yeah. handing their asses back to them, and then repeating the process. Yep, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. <laughs> A lot of ass. A whole lot of ass. Boatloads of ass. Ass tons of ass. <laughs> I mean, I'd say he was joking, but that is actually the truth of the matter. No, literally, like, we're, we're, we, 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 we beat the crap out of them. They run away. We go, haha, we did good. They come in. They beat the crap out of us. We run away. We rebuild our army. We come back, beat the crap out of them, and they run away. And, and it just keeps repeating. An ass mass. Yes. Ad nauseum, yeah. It is an experience. Don't you mean ass nauseum? Uh, sure. Why not? So much. We'll just grab another big one. Uh, what's really happening is we are finding somebody with three times the land and at least three times the population of us. So what we're trying to do is lure their smaller armies in so we can chop them apart without losing too much of our our population before they try and bring their large massive army in to conquer our areas. By the time they get their large army in place, we move out of the territory range so they feel safe and leave all but a token force behind, which we then go in and mop up. And we're repeating that tactic, or hopefully repeating that tactic, to try and lure enough of their army out that we can just knock it down to a sizable level so we can move into their territory and start increasing our war score so that we can then um, capture at least some territory from them before declaring a peace. I only heard the, the last part of that, but yes, that sounds about right. Good talk, Joachim. Really You're out. doing great. It is, not, like I said, not really working out for us. We're doing great, I said. That's what I said. Right. Uh, we're, we're doing amazing. We're top-notch. Faith. We're the best. Remember, you gotta believe. gotta believe. That's what they said in Parappa as well, and yet I failed that great game repeatedly, so... <laughs> Did the Onion Man beat your, your moral will yeah, to live yeah. down? <laughs> it did. It's, it really did. It's a great game, though. Punch, kick, punch, kick, punch, punch. <laughs> it's it's really really fun, actually. Oh, um, it is. It's great. I love rhythm games. Like, man. I like rhythm games. I'm just not very good at them. They just did like a whole um, homage to all the rhythm heaven games from all the creators and like all the the content creator artists that they'd had throughout the years. It was really rad. You should check it out. Does if you're into that sort of thing. This little 4.6k army, really? Just grab all of the rebuild levies and then... We once again trying to take this area. Um, yes, chat. That's because uh, Joachim is afraid of the water. Uh, so we don't have boats because it made him very scared. So we don't do navy. Hey, Joachim, you know what I just realized I didn't ask you? What didn't you ask me? Are you staying hydrated? Yes, I do. Uh, I do try. So, let's see. Those oh, of you at home, are you staying hydrated? Oh, what are, what's going on? Uh, there's a big Persian revolt. <sighs> yes. So there's hope for us yet. Yeah, send all your troops down there. Just ignore oh. us, us little guys up here. Just ignore yes, us. Where do we go from here? Clear the whole coast and then push inland, or do we want to go corner to corner? Keep you guys out because you don't have food and I can't be bothered getting you food. And uh, then we're going to grab some new mercenaries. And we're send you down, and then we're going to take this. That's the plan. Well, see, now we're in a positive score. Told you. And they actually want to give us land now. Hmm. So, now the question is, are we greedy? No, take it. Or do we just take it? Take it. Alright, then we'll just take it. Yes! That's we just all took I it. Now. 
it was taken. Because we can always declare war on them later. So... Look, guys, we went to a war with the Persian Empire, and they asked for peace with us. RC. It's because we believed. you got to have faith. It is ours for the taking. We actually have, like, a bunch of things that we just finished already. Because we missed that one area to complete a bunch of missions. The problem, though, is that one of these missions are... Well, is to pay. You need a navy of 30 boats. And that's not really how I roll. Uh, did so. 2.0 2 bring in the back the expected numbers uh, enough to continue work on the game? You know, 2.0 actually did better than we had hoped and expected, and you know, I think we did great on it. So that's why we're still streaming. That's why we're still talking. That's why Imperator's still around is because of you guys out in the community. And without you, the game wouldn't be what it is now. And, you know, 2.0 success didn't come from just us. We only provided you the platform. You're the ones that supported it and drove it and got out there and played it. So thanks, guys. Really, thank you so much. Um, See, yes, you, and you, uh, say working what? on your marketing. You know, true story. Um, I am yeah. I am in the marketing department. Everyone, it's weird. I don't know. No, you just about speak that. marketing fluently today, and I'm really impressed. Thank you. I do try sometimes. Sometimes oh, I still try to do my job. That's a little bit awkward. Oh wait, with the revolt or with the actual? Yeah. With the revolt, who's like way over there. Wait, hold on. Click on them again? Oh, they're down here. Didn't they? Oh, there we go. There it is. Done. Yeah, and it's done. Uh, let's see. Then we can just dispel all our people. Almost all of our people. Let's approach Sesamo. Let's see. It's this guy, isn't it? Yeah. I put the hat back on just for you. You okay? Forget it. Let's try. Hat's back on just for you. Oh, I see. That's actually... Uh... I mean, it's a nice hat. Yeah. It fits you so well. Right? It's very comfy. I think it might be because I have another hat on, but that's beside the point. There we go. Poor leader of the monkeys is missing out on me wearing the hat right now. That's not very nice. I don't know where she went. I don't know. She left. She, she ran away. I scared her away. I have that effect on people. It's because I'm large. So, I tossed us at the Egyptians, and that sort of worked out, and then tossed us at the Persians, and that sort of worked out. Yep. So, how are we doing in time? We have 20 minutes left. We have enough to declare so, another war. What I thought we could do is just grab the navy and sort of finish the mission, and then that's sort of, you know, how we end things. I think Ooh. that was the way. Yeah, alright. I think that was the way to go. And we're gaining ridiculous amounts of gold every tick again, so that's good. Yeah, no. Now we can actually start getting uh, stuff from uh, Seleucids again. <clears throat> yeah. Be like, hey, remember how uh, that didn't work out for you guys? Remember how we're not at war anymore? How about you give us stuff? Give. Just, just... Give. Give. Put like in that. hand. Give money to hand. What do you think is the best Paradox game? All of them, obviously. Um, oh, I see you're speaking marketing again. Yeah, you like that? For the next 18 minutes... Imperator is the best game ever made, ever. Period. And then right afterwards, it's CK3, huh? Literally two minutes after that, I'll be like, CK3 is the best game made, ever. Period. That's what I figured. That's right. <laughs> this Look, it's my it's job. Power okay. this game, though. That's actually like a good question. I don't know if there's like an easy answer to make. No. I think from like a production value it's probably CK3. Probably. Because so much time went into it and Yeah. Very well so polished. Many... Yeah, it's like very, very polished. Oh of course Leader of the Monkey chimes in as the number one world record all time number one player hours spent uh participant. So yeah, yeah. I mean City Skylines is Published by Paradox, right? Right. But uh, it's not really, you know, I sort of took it as a uh, DSG uh, question. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we'll just go. Maddie, number one cities stand right there. Literally. Literally. I think like uh, being a boss pro stand, I'm just saying. Waiting for the day you'll start saying Vampire is the best game ever. Look, if I end up on the uh, marketing team for Vampire, you know I'll say it. You know I will say it. 
Because I 100% believe in all of my products forever. Are you at war with Rome? Did we end up with war at Rome? Look, I think... I'm just... War okay. is such a strong word, right? Stuff happened, and they decided that land that is mine should be theirs. Mm -hmm. And you know, that sometimes people have certain disagreements about... You know who's in charge of what, right? That's yeah. I think that's just natural. Yeah, Rome was like so, you've ignored uh, us through this entire playthrough of of the Boss Ring Kingdom, and that cannot that cannot be allowed to happen. Long story short, yes, they want to war with me, and I'm probably getting screwed. Well, you know, I've got good news and bad news, right? Yeah, I think it's that's true. Like, <laughs> oh no, more war with Rome. I mean, on. On the bright side, it's not like they can do that much. They sort of squeeze through this one area, so that's something. Since you're in marketing, how's PDX going to move forward with the QA situation? I don't know. They are not part of marketing. QA is not part of the marketing team. So not my not my jurisdiction. Sengoku is obviously the best game, yes. We're, Sengoku is obviously the best PDX game. Yeah. Yes, can we just delete Rome? <laughs> like... <laughs> Just walk over there I mean, and delete I, them, Joachim. I can make a mod where Rome is just mixed, you know, switched out with just water. That can be made. <laughs> I know there's a mod for that in CK3 where uh, they removed uh, Austria and just added water oh, instead. Oh, that was so hilarious. That was so good. I loved that. There was also the one with CK3 where um, somebody was like trying to change the base layer of other countries and... They somehow submerged all of Europe underwater, <laughs> so they you could still see the map, but it was all underwater, so you couldn't land anywhere. It was just like people in boats going around constantly trying to. I mean, <laughs> that's completely normal if you ask me. Yeah, that's just that just yeah. happens. That's know. yeah, that's that's acceptable. I like that. Oh yeah, no, it was it was really good. I liked it. Oh man, that that there's a lot of red going on there. Yeah, okay. I'm, God, man. Yeah, there's a lot of oh, that's that's a yeah, that's what I was saying, man. There's a there's a lot of red going on over here. And I don't know if I can <laughs> that's uh that's a chunky army. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and capture all this stuff while they're doing that. I think we're just going to sort of look out, and then we're going to try and push up the war score a little bit, and then we're going to peace out as soon as we possibly can because this is not looking good for 14, us. Fourteen, fourteen war score. You know, just see what uh, we can do. Uh, extend the timeline. I mean, there are there are discussions about extending the timeline, but there aren't any official plans or anything. Um, it's a very lofty goal, uh, as is you know changing the start period. Very lofty goal. There's a lot of back end programming that goes into making sure that that would work, and it's it's quite an undertaking. Um, as far as dark theme for Imperator, not that I know of. I mean, this is pretty much as dark as we want it to be. Um, because it still has the ability to differentiate between textures and UIs. Um, but, I mean, if there's a mod you want made, I'm sure there's mod content creators out there that would be glad to help you. I think one of the things that was really brought up when we remade the UI is that a lot of our... Um, a lot of our assets are not really made for dark UI. Like when you look at um, event pictures and the like, then really not made for um, some sort of dark UI. So we would have to remake a lot of them for them to actually look good. So True. I don't really think it's True. in the cards. True. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm saying. Is like it's this is about as dark as we want to make it right now. Just because anything more than this is going to be. Because when we sort of looked at it, we were like, okay, if we want to have like the same event pictures and stuff, either we'd have to edit all of them, or we would have to like have like a whiteish screen on the inside, right? Right. To exactly. get the same sort of uh, thing, and it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really meld well. Um, any colorblind friendliness? Yes, we are working on colorblind friendliness constantly. Um, it's also a rather large undertaking to make sure that everything. It's it's the exact same conversation as that dark mode um, that Joachim was just talking about. It's it's one in the same conversation as like changing the background palette tones for everything to make sure that they are working correctly. Um, so that's definitely always a conversation that we're having. But as far as like a concrete date, I could not give you a concrete date, or even if there is a concrete date, I wish I could tell you more. 
So, let's see. Other questions. Can you explain the rationale behind why when you hire a mercenary army, its morale starts at zero? Because they don't uh, owe you anything. The real... Yes. The real answer, though, is that when we tested the game originally, it felt too powerful to grab a mercenary army and immediately toss it into war. So that's why. Because in in Brotter, the mercenary armies are on the map itself. No. Rather than being in some, you know, in just a menu or something of that kind, which meant that you could hire a mercenary, go to an ally space, and it could be anywhere in the map, really. And they would immediately be ready to fight, and it would be really, really powerful. Um, and then it was like, hey, if, you know, there's a certain uh, payoff in that, hey, you have to wait for them to actually build morale. That makes, you know, their power a little bit reduced. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's sort of the reason. But, yeah, that, that just about does it for us, folks, you know. It's, it's been a wild ride getting to 2.0. I'm glad we made it to 2.0, that's for sure. I'm glad we're here in 2.0 and able to share with you guys exactly what's going on. I'll take my little hat off for a little bit more gravitas here. There we go. <laughs> but yes, um, I hope you guys are enjoying 2.0. I really do. Um, and just a reminder, this is our last stream for a while. We will not be back next week. Um, we will be around, though, so message us, hit us up, check out the news, watch the videos, check out replays of our videos. Uh, we're going to have all of our... Uh, lovely streams that we've had in the past up on YouTube. I've got all the, the VODs collected. I just need to get them published and get some titles out for you guys. So you can definitely check out all the news and all the information moving forward. Um, please remember, no no stream next week. However, CK3 is after this next. So if you want to stick around, I'll still be here. you still get to see my face. I'll still be working. Um, I hope we get, got all your questions answered. As always, if you have any further questions or issues, hit us up on the forums. We'll gladly report those and check those out. Uh, Joachim, thanks, man. Yeah, no. It's, you know, as long as we don't do any proper um, streams moving forward, it's the ending of no. my uh, illustrious streaming career. We're just going to we're just gonna you to come over on the CK3 and struggle for a while. Sound good? I mean, I'd say that... You know, I wasn't the right person to do that, but I have played a see uh, inordinate amount of CK2 and yeah, also man. CK3. So mm -hmm. also worked on CK2 for quite a while. So I probably yeah. could do it just fine. But yeah, uh, from my impression, Matt is doing quite fine already. So yeah. uh, well, you know, what I'm hearing is that I should probably toss you out and take your spot. That's fine. I need a break anyway, man. <laughs> take a nap somewhere in the corner. No. <laughs> But, but for real, thank you so much, Joachim. Thanks to the community again for you know making 2.0 what it is. Thanks to the guys in the control booth and Gal for making the experience as lovely and smooth as possible. We hope you enjoyed our Imperator stream. We hope you've enjoyed the time with us here on Imperator. We hope that the game is where you would like to see it and where you've always hoped it would be. And don't worry, guys. We'll see you around. Later, y'all.